um, food that's like that. Like Kurt, what is what is your deal? You love bacon. Like uh, I always see, like whoa. I always. Like, well, I don't He's know he, not the only bacon lover in this I've not actually seen him eat a lot of bacon, but he always smells like it. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the thing I go for. No, that's, Is I, that I, your clone? No, no, no I, I ride the Lawrence bus. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just rubs off. Oh. Uh, so you also love bacon? Bacon and pan-fried pork dumplings. Well, that was my question. Yeah. I was going to ask, uh, uh, you, you've got the option. Hmm. You're going to gild the lily. Okay. What's the food that has not been wrapped in bacon? Wait, 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 wait. What does gild the lily mean? <laughs> gild the lily? I think it's one of the things you can do with the zucchini. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, again, it's one of my favorite adult films. <laughs> um, no, gilding the lily is, is, is you have a lily. It's beautiful. And, and it's already you, perfect. Yeah, you, like, would, oh, like you, add you would add it. gold to it, and, and it would be too much. A more perfect. It would actually be too perfect. <gasps> can, so, can I dare to say a corn dog? A bacon-wrapped corn dog? Mm. I'm on board for that. Oh, mm. I want to give that yeah. a shot. Yeah. Wow. So, so like, are we talking about, okay, corn dog or pronto pup? What? Like, there's, there's a difference. <laughs> what are you, from Indiana? It's, yeah. yeah. They, no, they, yeah. they don't know pronto pups. You don't, what is a pronto pup? That's an Indiana thing, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, you oh. know what? This this is actually a great question. Um, okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> okay. The future. It's the future, and the government is coming. <laughs> 3 a.m. The phone rings. All right? It's the Iowa State Fair. Here we go. And they want you to create their next fried on a stick item. All right. And, uh, and, and to give you examples, I don't know if you've ever been to the Iowa State Fair. They already have fried Twinkies, fried Snickers, Mars bars. They actually have salad on a stick now. Um, yeah, the whole Sorry, thing is just awful. I vomited a little in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I spent some time this summer at the Iowa State Fair. I did vomit. We have we also we had we had we had we have uh, we the fall festival back where I'm from. They also have like fried Coke and like all kinds of fried fried things. Coke. Mm. Yeah, oh, like yeah. that you snort right up no, your nose. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Let's get it. Yeah. It's like they crunch up some Fritos and <laughs> cut it in with the cocaine. Yeah. That'd be a chunky snort. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> it would be. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and so what? What? What is that item? What are you gonna fry and put on that stick and and make Iowans fatter with? Chocolate dipped bacon. Wow. Fried. Holy crap. With almonds. Yeah, they do that. They did that with in Indiana too, <laughs> except for the almonds part. They, but they, yeah, they just did like that a, too. Sounds like a chocolate covered bacon. Quit taking my ideas. Wow. I did acting Indiana. like Indiana thought of it first. Pronto okay. pups are a brand of corn dog which have been sold at the Minnesota State Fair, other state fairs, oh, and events throughout the country since 1941. Pronto pups are different from regular corn dogs because of the batter containing a different blend of several different flours created with its widely popular taste. Those are words that, that is, were there. That is the wow. best reading I have ever heard you do. Well, that's not though. exactly right, but so, that's actually so. Pronto I heard, pups or puffs. Pups, P-U-P. So like like so a corn dog. Pronto but pups I heard it has are to corn dogs what Freedom Fries are to French fries? No, no, no. They're, not di- they're, they're different. I they're heard, be I heard it had pancake in it. I heard it had like pancake mix in there mm. or something. Okay. So, right. But it's a different kind of, um, of fried thing. <laughs> so, um, well, if he took your chocolate-covered bacon idea, what else might you fry on a stick? Pickles. They also do pickles. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter Thank with you, you, Lena. I'm just trying to help He's her out. Excited. This, was, this, was Ev- this was the example that, that Evan gave before the show of Trivial Pursuit. When somebody else gets a question, you're like, Ooh, oh, I know this one. one. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> I can give you a hint. Do you want Nobody else can answer. Nobody else can give me a hint. I didn't even, I didn't even look, look at the back of the card. Did I do original? I like the double stuffed or whatever you call the it. Double the double or caramel. The caramel's going to Caramel's good, but it makes my mouth all mouthy. Yeah, It makes your mouth You know what? I'll be honest. The caramel. makes me say silly things. The caramel or caramel. It just makes you a little sassy, yeah. <laughs> Since the caramel has two different textures, it kind of messes me up because I don't want to be oh, slowed like down the con- by the, the contrast of textures. I look for that. I don't know. I look for that. I I, I kind of yeah. like the consistency there of, of of the of the other three. The caramel just like slows me down in the middle. Okay, so pick your pick your stick item. A stick item. Um, I don't know. Taco, tamale. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Get a little Mexican, maybe nachos on a stick. There you that go. would be yeah. awesome. Just yeah. like a thing where you put them all on a stick. A I thing. like that idea. Yeah. That works for me. So somebody do that. Somebody. At least see, show me a picture. Get on that. Yeah. Get on that. <laughs> <on there. laughs> <laughs> just drop some plans. Um, Patent ready. I so, guarantee one of our forum people would uh, be happy to uh, Photoshop that for us. <laughs> 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 yeah, they did some. They did some scary work on uh, Sarah and Todd Palin mixed. Um, <laughs> what their kids are going to do. Yeah. Um, so, so my next question then is, you're in back in Chicago for now for weeks. For years. They Year. live here now. Okay. For the next two years. Okay. What? Where do you like to go here? Where do you like in Chicago? 
Uh, I really like, I love the ethnic food in Chicago. Um, Ethiopian food up on the north side in Andersonville, Edgewater is awesome. Um, Ethiopian diamond. Uh, Right around here, uh, Tank Noodle. Oh, Tank is amazing. Their pho is awesome. Their beef noodle soup. Now, Ethiopia is not known for food or eating. Wow. (laughs) I mean, it's known for distended bellies. You know, every time I tell people about Ethiopia food, they like... uh, Bring a Sally Strother joke up, right. and you, so it's it's yeah, completely way to, way to class it up yeah. is what she said. Way to go. Real <laughs> way to be a Haven't they been through enough? <laughs> <laughs> do they know? We're gonna do, we'll do a benefit song. Do they know it's lunchtime? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. So you like Ethiopian oh, food? This <laughs> <laughs> really pretty fucking hard. Uh, no. okay, go ahead. Um, no, problem. Ethiopian food's awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think. I. There's a really good Korean place by my house. Uh, I like the fancy restaurants. Chicago's got a lot of the fancies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blackbird, awesome American contemporary restaurant. Um, what was that wine bar we went to, Evan? Avec. Avec, next door to Blackbird. Mm-hmm. The bastardized sister, but it's it just as it delicious. Bacon wrapped dates that were fantastic. Mm, I, I like the whole fish, the whole snapper that we got. It was very good. Yeah. So you don't you don't really like discriminate against the kind of place you eat at. No. A lot of these ethnic restaurants, especially. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. Oh, God. I, I don't know oh. if you know who they're run by, but... <laughs> no. Mexicans, my people. Mainly brown people. Yes. As far as I could tell. No, um, a, lot of the, a lot of them are, uh, like, BYOBs. Like, they don't mm, even have their own... That's like, even better, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, oh, yeah. If you were going to do, like, if you had a McDonald's... Yeah. Any, I don't know well, what this was. Well, here's the thing... <laughs> That was that was my question. Thank you for the segue. Um, uh, my my question was clearly, if you're a foodie, you're probably a BYOB person. We were going to name off a handful of restaurants that don't offer BYOB, but if they did, what would you bring? Uh, oh God, I'm, I'm gonna, not that great. <laughs> no, I no, just no, like that's drinking. Fine. <laughs> this is this is this is just a gut feeling answer. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you had to eat there and had to bring your own bee, um, what's your bee? I, I my my B would probably be uh and, and keep in mind I'm a girl I tend to like more girly drinks but I would have to say some woodchuck hard cider. Oh, oh now that now I think that would mix well with the Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. with the friedness yeah. I feel like it would cut right through. I think it really grabs the Kentucky. Mm. <laughs> I would have brought him in julep. Uh, Taco, <laughs> Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Oh um, sangria. Okay. See, because okay. I thought kind you were going to say uh, margarita. I, I know, but that's not really... I think a sangria would be nice. That's not really B, though, is it? I would have gone Beer with uh, Negro Modelo. Hey, Lena, Whoa. what the hell is General Tao's chicken? Where'd that come from? General what? General <laughs> Tao's chicken. Did you just have issue with it? General Tao's <laughs> chicken. Yeah, uh, have I been saying it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe they're not screwing up my order thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're creating something when you walk in there. <laughs> what is General Chow like? Oh, God, now I have to remember. Um, I remember I my like history would come up. <laughs> I actually believe General So's chicken was a dish created for the American palate. It's not something you can really find in There Asia. actually is no General So. <laughs> or General <laughs> Chow. <laughs> uh, yeah, General guy, just you, give me something. <laughs> you've been eating cat. Oh, okay. cat, so. back in, ask for the general towel. <laughs> Give him the sweet and sour chicken, there's no difference. <laughs> so it's just fried rice? I have no clue. All right. Mm, hey, they tell put, they put tell him it's general sows. He's been ordering for so long, I'd be embarrassed to tell him that. <laughs> I really have. This I is good general towel. <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> now I want to know what, what war it was that General So became famous in. Did, was, was it was an actual but general? General So? So if somebody can figure this out for me, because I don't have time. All right. Evan. Either that I'm or on it. Either Evan's on the case right either now. Either that or it's such a common name that they just refer to it as General So. Like, that'd be like John's chicken. <laughs> like, who made that? Was that Kim So? Was that John So? That's <laughs> yeah, just General So, really. Um,